Hello, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. I want to show you how to create an offer and an opportunity based on the early beta access content that some market centers have access to right now. Again, this is going to be for lab participants only. If your market center does not have access to this new content just yet, then your offers tab is going to look different than what I'm fixing to show you on the screen. If that is you, we have other resources that we can help provide for you to help walk you through the offer process, just reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help. But for today, let's walk through this offer process within the early access. Again, lab participants only will see it this way. Let's log into command. We will access our opportunities on the left. We're assuming you already have an opportunity created since now you have an offer. However, if you need any assistance in creating an opportunity from scratch, you can always check out our opportunities and sales pipeline class that will walk you through that process. We're simply going to click into one of our sales pipelines here to access our opportunity. Now that we have our opportunity open, we'll click on offers and commissions. And we already have one offer submitted here. We're going to add a new offer on the far right. Some fields are pre-populated for you. At the top, you can enter your offer name. Your property address should already populate for you if you've updated this in the property details in the opportunity or linked a property to the opportunity itself if it's a listing opportunity. However, if for any reason this is blank, you can come right here to select from KWLS. We suggest showing all listings and searching by the MLS number will generally pull um, listings a little quicker for you. So you can come here, enter that, and once you see the listing that you want to choose, you would simply click select and it should take you right back to this offer, okay? Now, our information pre-populates there once you select that listing. You may have to adjust the property type and classification. So just double check those. These are correct residential and resale for this particular property. And total units, you would enter your information there if it is not pre-populated for you. Coming on down, buyer information. Since this is a buyer opportunity that we're showing you today, my buyer name is already pre-populated here and I am already listed or Scott is listed as the buyer agent representative. So we would put in the seller information since buyer is already fulfilled. Just going to enter their name here. This is a required field. You would enter the seller's agent's representative's name if you have it. However, this is not a required field. And you can add a co-seller if you need to. You can always just click plus and add as many fields as you need to. If you have too many, just click the negatives to remove them. And also up here, I just skipped past this, for the buyer information, you can choose to select if they're pre-approved or pre-qualified, that's 100% up to you. Coming down for the terms and dates, you would enter the sales price, enter how much is actually going to be paid in cash, We'll put a whopping $5 and it automatically balances out the finance amount here to show the difference. Earnest percentage you would put right here. And then the contract date, just choose the calendar, choose the date, closing date, another required field, click the calendar and choose the closing date. You can toggle to next month if you need to or even a couple of months 
and click the date. And at the bottom, just enter any comments that you would like. And come to the bottom, you can see a few options. You can go ahead and create the offer or create and accept it right away if you want to. Now we had two different offers um, on this particular property. So we're just simply going to create offer. And it brings us back to our offers and commissions tab right here. Scroll down just a little and you can see the two different offers placed right here with the information highlighted here. And now we can accept, excuse me, you can accept one of the offers or reject one. We're gonna go ahead and accept this previously entered offer by clicking accept. And now underneath your offers and commissions tab, you can see that this top one is in accepted status and the bottom is in reviewing status. So with this accepted offer, now you can come over and click Manage Commission to go ahead and start your commission request. We do have a tip video that will be posted about this. So you can go ahead and check that out on our YouTube and it will show you the new labs participants view of a commission's request if you need that. If you have any questions at all um, about this process or anything else, you can reach out to us again at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.